Who would have thought the end of the world would be so peaceful? I wish Crane could have seen this. The man, the myth, and maybe Night Hunter Kyle Crane was just mentioned as you just heard in the latest Dying Light 2 trailer to date, which sets up huge possibilities as to what we'll actually get to hear or see for ourselves in the game. I've theorized about this game for a long time and continuously wondered what sort of secrets from the first game will it bring along. And now, we have our biggest glimpse into what's to come. There really haven't been too many callbacks to the first game we've seen so far, and it's been confirmed no characters are returning, which I find to be a missed opportunity. So, I hope there's a lot of secret surprises yet to be revealed, and I'm sure there will be. But yes, Kyle Crane was mentioned, and in my mind confirming Crane is indeed dead. Since the character talking states, I wish Crane could have seen this, so unless Kyle's a thousand miles away back in Turkey where Haran is at, or out in the world like a pilgrim like Aiden, then he's really most likely dead. Though, what's weird to me is that Kyle is just a regular agent. He never really had a huge impact on the outside world that we know of, so hearing him mention of all people is kind of weird to me, unless the person saying this line has a close connection to Kyle. For a little while, I thought it was Spike from Dying Light 1 saying this line, but no characters are returning, so then I thought it was Matt. I've compared the voice lines with what we've heard from both of these characters, but it's really impossible to come to any conclusions. But it's clearly somebody who knew Kyle Crane, so it's just exciting to see the lore being expanded upon. Also, can we just mention, that trailer had so many minor spoilers, some I think people are actually going to be a little upset about. But, don't forget how much Techland has fooled us in past trailers. Whether it was about changing the character model or location entirely, they aren't just going to give us straight answers, that's for sure. Though, I am curious to see how Hakon gets out of that situation, if he even does. Now, going back to the Kyle Crane line, there really is no context here, so we can't really understand the situation or how it's being talked about. But at some point, Aiden will clearly learn who Kyle Crane is, unless this line is just thrown out there for us fans, which will probably be a case for a lot of things in this game. But with a theory about Kyle Crane becoming the Night Hunter and what ending is even canon in the first game, whatever happened to the protagonist Kyle Crane is one of those big questions that have yet to be answered. So I don't think it'll be swept under the rug lately. And now moving on. This was something I was going to make a separate video about, but I kind of just decided to include it here. There is this image that's been shown back as far as 2018 as one of the early concept images for the game. And now it's been shown more recently as part of a calendar set of images you can download on techland.gg right now. What's interesting here is there's numerous easter eggs spread about, which may be hard to notice at first glance. There's one for Watchmen with the emoji pin flying down, but also, it says Haran City on Aiden's leg. This image led to years of speculation from the community, with many thinking Aiden is from Haran, but that's all for the most part been debunked. It truthfully ended up not being really that important at all and was just something to pay homage to Dying Light 1, yet if anything it just confused a lot of people, so I'm glad they cleared this up. Another thing to note is that according to this post, Aiden doesn't even know anything about Haran, so that kind of tempers what to expect in the story. But anyways, that's it from me, for now. I hope the Dying to Know episode was worth it and I'm sure we'll be hearing a lot more about Kyle Crane and the connections between Dying Light 1 and 2 next time, hopefully in the game itself. Anyways, guys and gals, if you want to, then feel free to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already, and stop by next time.